making business. Just kidding. Hey, but you know what? Today's video is not about math. <laughs> and I know I talk to you guys how much I love math, but today, no, we're going to be doing, yes, reading comprehension. Yeah, something like that. We're going to be looking at some different things. As you can see this week, we are going to be looking at this potential learning target, learning intention objective yes that's really just what it is i like objective because it's a big word and you know you have to learn it an objective just means what we're going to learn in well in anything an objective to winning a game of cards you have to know what the rules are and then you figure out what you need to do in this case we're going to find out what we need to do to become a better reader but specifically we're going to be looking at how is the structure of an actual text help us with just the overall development of ideas and just the comprehension? So let's take a look. It says that we're going to analyze how a particular sentence, paragraph, chapter, or section fits into the overall structure of a text and contributes to the development of the ideas. And so, yes, this is a sixth grade standard, my friends. That's right. And we are going to make sure that we do everything we can to achieve that goal and so that you guys can learn this. Now, we are going to be doing an Achieve 3000 article. You can see it's entitled, When the Sky Turned Red and Green. Yeah, okay, yeah, like green, like the, 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 the Grinch. Yeah, like that kind of green. This is going to be really cool, you guys. Now, we do have this before reading poll, and it does state that an aurora is a light display caused by solar storms. Some people like to enjoy auroras for their beauty. Others want to study them and understand why they occur. What do you think? Yes, what do you think? It says, nature is more valuable for its beauty than for the science that we can learn from it. Ho oh, ho, that's a great, great prompt and of course you have your agree or disagree i can't see my little circles but you guys have that on your program so you're going to agree or disagree with that statement well let me help you out by first maybe just showing you a picture of what an aurora looks like ah oh my goodness look at that that is just too cool look at those colors it looks like the it looks like we have like a forest fire but like the color is green but no, that looks really, really cool. Very nice. So now you guys kind of know what it is. Some of you guys may know it as the Northern Lights. So let's get back to our regular scheduled programming. So what are you guys going to do? Well, you're going to explain why you voted the way that you did. So again, this is where you are going to want to put this video on pause. That's right. Just take a second and get onto your computer or your device. And you're going to go ahead and type in the before reading poll. I know you're wondering. But Mr. War, how are you going to know that we did it? <clears throat> you know, it's online. I have access. That's right. And my friends, I will be checking to make sure that this assignment has been completed. So with that, you could put the video on pause and then you could go ahead and turn it back on when you've completed this little part of the assignment. Okay, you must be done. And now you're ready for the launching of this article. First thing that we like to kind of do here is just look at that aspect of cause and effect. I know that we've done this before. We're going to be looking at this in this particular article. It's going to help us make our way through. Now, a couple of things that you need to understand here in this article, I'm just going to kind of give you an overview because I'm not actually going to read this article to you. This particular uh, Lexile level is 1080. As sixth graders, you know that our goal by the end of sixth grade level is to get to a Lexile level around, oh, what is it? about 1,020 or so. So this is a little bit above that, but you will be reading this article at your independent reading level, or as they call you, your perfect reading level, or something like that. Now, here in this particular article, because I had a chance to read it, you're gonna learn a little bit about the solar storm. It occurs in October of 2011, and it is caused by what we just talked about, that aurora or northern lights, and they show up in the night sky, much farther south, than usual and the reason is you're going to see that in the south they had an opportunity to see these lights again i'm just trying to give you a little bit of an overview now know that an aurora is a light show caused by solar storms these spectacular shows of light have just dazzled spectators with their brilliant colors i mean we saw some of them already and wispy little shapes throughout time Auroras are usually seen 
near the North Pole. If you remember that movie, Brother Bear. That's right. If you haven't seen Brother Bear, oh, that would be a really cool movie to see right now based on this particular content. They're usually seen at the North Pole and the South Pole because that's where the magnetic field is the strongest. Now, in 2011, people in Arkansas, Alabama, Georgia, and Kentucky got to see a rare light show when a solar storm pulled the colorful lights unusually far south. So in this article, you guys are going to learn about the 2011 auroras. You're also going to learn about the scientific kind of explanation behind what produces the colorful lights of an aurora and why they appear in different colors. Now let's go ahead and just go over some vocabulary from that 1080 Lexile level. One word is compress. It's a verb. To press together heavily or condense. Oh my goodness. Did that used to be a car? Oh, I don't know. It might even be like a truck. Man, that thing has been squished. So, yeah, that's the word compress. So if you feel like things are really coming down on you, you can say, oh no, I'm okay. Well, maybe not. I'm exaggerating here. But at least you understand that that's what it means to press together, but heavily. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. Oh, wait, we have another we have another picture, Mr. Wara. It's a spring. Oh, yeah, a spring will compress because if you get on the top of it, you could be bouncing on it. You know, boinky, boinky, boink. Yeah, go up and down. Hoo hoo. Like Tigger. That's where I get my little hoo hoo. All right, very cool. Next word. Oh, my goodness, this guy's scary. Intensity. Yo, dude, you are like way too intense. Relax. Do your breathing. Do your yoga exercises. You're too intense, my friend. Intensity says it's the state of being strongly felt or experienced. So I don't know if that's like, uh, I don't know if that's an ostrich or an emu. It looks like an emu. He looks like he needs to just take a day off, you know? Maybe, hey, I know. He could have like a stay-at-home order. Relax, don't go out. You need to take a break. Oh, and this guy too. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I see you're angry. You are clearly intense another picture oh and another hawk she so gets the idea boy this guy's really look at that focus though you got to give him credit yay okay now we have another word model now it's a noun and it says that it's a varied pattern of color okay so now we have another picture of some looks like could be some northern lights there look at the variation there in the pattern of the color we see some reds and greens and yellows perfect example of model Use it as an adjective too, but here it's just describing it. Oh, here's another example picture of model. As you can see, we have, yeah, almost here it looks like a little bit of discoloration there. But again, that varied pattern of the green to the lighter uh, looks like a beige color. Okay, cool. All right, magnetic field. Oh, yeah. It says in space, something that acts like a magnet and pulls things together or pushes them apart. So this person here, looks like with a magnetic sphere of some kind, has created a magnetic field around the paper clips. And so even though the paper clips down here, if you can see them, are still hanging on because they're within that magnetic field. And of course, they're getting a really strong pull from each paper clip. Very cool. Oh, yeah, like a magnet, you know? Like I had one of these magnets when I was a little kid. That's right. Okay, boomer. Yeah, okay, whatever. So, you know, there's a North Pole and there's a South Pole. And in this case, yes, they mark it for you. It just means that the magnetic field is going to be stronger around the poles. Now, this is the old style one, to be honest with you. Like I said, when I was growing up, now they have some straight ones. You'll always get a stronger attraction at the poles. Like the North Pole and the South Pole have a stronger magnetic field. And in this case, that's true with a magnet. Okay. Very good. And another vocabulary word that we're going to be looking at. Oh, my goodness. Look at those colors. Is that vibrant or what? Bright or exciting? Yes, that's bright. And it's exciting. Well, you know, it is kind of really cool, though. Look at the layers there. Wow, that's really doing a number on my eyes. Stop looking. Okay, so back to the article. So we want to really focus in on the cause and effect relationship. And please keep in mind that structure, text structure of an article, cause and effect, helps us get that overall comprehension. So when we start reading this article, I want you to start thinking about what's the causes that brings out this effect? What happened before that resulted in this happening? Okay, an example here is you can just see that right now, as I'm making this video, 
the coronavirus outbreak was the cause of humans being infected with a virus. And of course, the effect was many people got sick. Some people got really, really sick and some people died. And that is a cause and effect relationship. And we're going to be looking at that in this article. Okay, so you guys are going to read this at your independent level. And you want to make sure that you are taking notes online. Remember, you're going to be doing this on your computer because there's no way that I'm going to be able to get the paper. You're going to do this on the computer and then you're going to take your notes there so that I can review them. As you can see here, we have a part two, which is a dig deeper. You'll need to read that as well. Now, the thought question. Mr. Wara, do we have to do the thought question? Well, you really don't have to do anything in life, really. But if you're asking me this question, am I going to assign the thought question? Yes, I am. I will. And I'm going to actually give you until a Sunday to do it. So it's like you have a whole week. It says, describe auroras and explain what causes them to occur. Oh, yeah. Okay. After reading the article, you're going to have a lot more information. It says, what causes the different colors of light in auroras and it says use facts and details from the lesson to support your answer and this is type your answer in the text box below and again you'll be doing that online which i know you guys all know how to do okay are we done here yeah i think this is it this is the end of the line my friends so you guys are going to read this article on your own taking notes all assignments as always posted in edmodo that's right now my friends live live